Given the way that we've sort of been bowling uh, over the last few games and obviously the way we bowled in the first innings, the quality we've got in our attack, you know, I was, I was very confident that um, we had what it takes to obviously take the 10 wickets. I didn't anticipate it sort of happening like that. It was, you know, one of those sessions where, you know, everything went our way, sort of, um, they, they, nick, they nick them, whereas in the first innings, you know, potentially we beat the bat a fair few times. Um, but yeah, we just got on a roll. Obviously, momentum was with us, the way we batted, um, you know, I think we should say a lot for the batters there because I think there was plenty in the wicket um, and our bowlers really got the most out of it. So full credit to them. And yeah, it's just uh, a great, I didn't anticipate at the start of the day, you know, being being finished on day three, but obviously we're absolutely over the moon with that win. It's an extraordinary turnaround after the first day when Somerset bowled out for 163 and they were 145 for four, only 18 behind with six wickets in hand. And here you are now winning by 399 runs. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it can be a funny game, can't it? But yeah, just the way we fought back and um, obviously it all started with the ball in that first innings, really. I mean, obviously on the end of day one, they were sort of 18 behind, four down, but we, we really didn't feel too far away. We obviously missed a couple of chances on that first day and things could have been quite different. So um, we obviously had a magic hour where we, you know, we bowled them out for, for a pretty similar score. And then see the game was in the balance. We went two, two down early and... I thought just the way, you know, Lammers and GB and obviously Rui played sort of to wrestle the momentum back in our favour and um, I mean, batting's never easy, but I think they, they made batting look as easy as it could be on that surface. So um, that was a huge effort from those boys. Obviously, things have happened pretty quickly this evening and I don't think that should take away from sort of the work that went in and from those, those boys to establish that sort of platform um, and lead. And then obviously when you're sort of 400, 500 ahead, you know, batting's always different. You're always on the back foot and, and you know, we had a lot of energy coming at them tonight with the ball and, you know, the boys were phenomenal. So, yeah, very happy. And you've got a tremendous spearhead to the attack now, haven't you, with Matt Henry and Craig Overton? Yeah, look, I sort of um, reluctant to sort of get drawn into talking about those two. Um, obviously their quality is, is absolutely phenomenal. I think they're probably two, in the be two of the best in the world um, when they bowl like that, um, but equally, I thought the way Bridge and JD backed it up was was brilliant as well. You know, everyone's got their own role within the bowling attack, and they all complement each other. And yeah, it was just very special. And obviously, had a, a great seat in the house at first slip. It was incredible to watch. You know, the the skill, the accuracy. Um, it was just relentless. And I'm glad I'm not batting against them. That's for sure. <laughs>